Hey y'all, I'm back for the second time today. The Lord has something else he dropped in my spirit that he wanted me to share with you all. And the title of this is Easy Come, Easy Go. So whatever it is, just keep waiting on God. You don't want it to show up easy because you don't want it to easily slip away out of your hands. Amen. But before we get into this word, let us say a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word. We thank you for your guidance and your teachings. We thank you, Lord God, for the rejection because Lord God, we know that rejection is our protection. So Lord, we asking that you forgive us for complaining, forgive us for want to move ahead of you, Lord God, in Jesus name. May we, Lord God, humble ourselves, Lord God, and exalt you in our waiting season, oh God, and lift up your name for whatever comes in our direction, in our path, Lord God. Walk ahead of us and make all the crooked places straight, Lord God, and help us to keep believing, help us to continue having the faith that we need to be successful in whatever it is that we leading out to do, Lord God, whatever it is that we want to accomplish lord god continue to walk with us oh god in jesus name and talk with us wherever we may go oh god and whatever we do lord god may this video lord god reach all of those that is intended for oh god in jesus name and may this word fall on good ground may they receive this word with an open heart and mind in jesus name i decree and declare that's done easy come easy go proverbs twenty twenty one says an inheritance gained hastily at the beginning will not be blessed at the end. So whatever come quickly, it'll leave just as quick as it came. Easy come, easy go. And the Lord was reminding me that he sent Solomon to warn the people about getting rich quick schemes. So we want to, we don't want to get rich quick because we don't want to be broke just as quick as we became rich. Amen. Easy come, easy go. And I'm going to just read from my nurse what the Lord was, you know, talking to me about, you know, as I was studying. And it says, if you cheat in any way too quickly to advance professionally or to get rich financially, you will not succeed or survive in the long run. It says quick profits will not last. You may get ahead temporarily, but in the end, your career, your career will become poverty. Believe it. God blessed Isaac, Joseph, Mordecai, Daniel, and others quickly. The inheritances that God blesses will be blessed. While God's favor is with whatever man that he blesses. So you have to make sure that God is blessing whatever it is that you're doing. You cannot be trying to get rich quick. He blessed others quickly, but it was his blessing. The blessing of the Lord makes one rich and he adds no sorrow with it. So whatever God blesses is blessed. So whatever you are planning to do, your business, your career, your restaurant, wherever it is, take it to God and allow God to bless it. Make sure it's what God want you doing. Because one thing about it, God intend for us to be wealthy. God intend for us to live in abundance. Just take it to God. And it says, there are godly ways to pursue your profession and manage your finances Faithful conduct in your business will build an inheritance. I talked about money management yesterday, managing your finances. And I said to be faithful in whatever business that uh, you was doing, whatever business you're trying to start, be faithful in it. God, this is God's second day talking about money management and being faithful. So be faithful to whatever you do. Do not try to take shortcuts. Don't be trying to get the hookup. God is your hookup, amen. Take your business and whatever it is that you're trying to do, take it to God, amen. And it says, any compromise of God rules in your business, any compromise in God rules in your business, even if you think you will get ahead, you will, short, you will certainly get behind. You will get behind. Whatever you do trying to get, get ahead is going to cause you to get behind. So do not take shortcuts. Do not... Try to get rich quick. Set your mind right now that you will never cheat at all to get ahead. You never cheat. Make up your mind right now before the manifestation take place. Before you start your business. Before you start operating in your purpose. Make up your mind right now that you will never cheat. You will never cheat to get ahead. Amen. So be patient. Take your time and wait for God to bless it. Amen. And he led me to John 1. And so I read John 1. I'm not going to go there and read it. I'm going to just give you a little 
backstory to catch you up well it was talking about how john um was baptized and he baptized jesus and the disciples you know was walking up to jesus but as the uh disciples john disciples were seeing jesus walk around y'all he they automatically knew they said behold the lamb of god when jesus was just walking they said behold the lamb of god they just knew when they heard jesus speak they said rabbi which means teacher. They knew he was a teacher just by what he spoke. They just knew. So who are you saying God is to you? Who are you saying? Do you see Jesus in your situation? You have to see Jesus in everything. God is in the details of whatever is happening in your life. You have to see Jesus in the thing that you know, that you know that you know that God promised you, you know it. It's just something in you that just know. You just know, why would you give up on that thing that you just know? Let me encourage you right now. Faith without work is dead. So we have a job to do. We have to work in God. We have to work. We have to have the faith that matches up with our labor. So it's labor that have to take place. So giving up is not an option. Easy come, easy go. Keep working. Keep waiting. Keep praying. Keep fasting. Take your business to God. Wait patiently. Easy come, easy go. Even though it's tarrying, you have to know that God is doing it for you. God has done it for you. He just don't want it to slip through your fingers. He don't want it to be over just as soon as you get it. He wants you to last. He wants you to leave an inheritance to your children and your great-grandchildren. Amen? Amen. And it's, uh, let me see what else he had me to focus on. Oh, every time the disciples walked up to Jesus, when they seek Jesus out and they found Jesus, Jesus told them something about themselves. That's a focus point that God had me to, you know, just focus on what was Jesus saying to them? What was Jesus doing when he, when they approached Jesus, they found Jesus and Jesus said these things. Jesus told them something about themselves. So you have to find Jesus in your situation. You have to find Jesus in your business so he can tell you something about your business that'll help you prosper. He'll tell you something about yourself that'll help you be better, that'll help you be patient, that'll help you prosper. Go to Jesus. Seek Jesus out in whatever it is that you're doing. Seek Jesus out. They found Jesus. And Jesus spoke something, told them something about themselves every time. He's just waiting for you to come to him. God want to tell you everything. God want to share everything with you. He just waiting till you come to him. With a purified heart and a purified mind and a humble spirit. God said, just come to me. Just come find me. And I have all the information that you need. Find Jesus. Matthew 6, 33 says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all of these things will be added unto you. Seek Jesus out in your situation. Seek Jesus out in your business. Seek Jesus out in your book. God will tell you when and where to write this book. When they found Jesus, he told them something about themselves. Go find Jesus so he can tell you something about you. Amen. For he can tell you something about you. Because when you find Jesus, you will know Jesus. You will just know. You will just know what it is that he's having you to do. You will know what Jesus is saying about you. Jesus is saying you are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. You are a lender and not the borrower. Good health is your portion. Wealth is your portion. Success is your portion. All the promises of God is yes and amen. Let me encourage you right there. God is saying yes to your business. He's saying yes to a financial breakthrough. He's saying yes to whatever it is that you're desiring. Because whatever you're desiring, you have to know that it was him that put that desire down on the inside of you. You just lining up with his will, but go find Jesus in it. Take it to Jesus. Whatever he give us, we always have to give back to him. Amen. Prosperity is your portion. Good health is your portion. Love is your portion. Wealth is your portion. Newness is your portion. So we want to wait on the Lord. We want to be dependent on God. In Jesus' name. 
in Jesus name. Easy come, easy go. We don't want it to come easy. <laughs> we want to work. Amen. Do not get weary in well-doing. Do not get weary in well-doing. Amen. Go to go to Jesus. Go find Jesus like the disciples did. Amen. So that Jesus can speak to you. For Jesus can tell you some things that will help you and that will last. He doing something within you that's going to last in the mighty name of Jesus. Take all your ideas, take your business, take your faith, take your doubt and your complaining to Jesus because he's the only one can help you with it. Sitting there in sorrow, sitting there down, they ain't going to do nothing but hurt you and have you to doubt more and more and more and try to give up on what you're called to do. You just know deep down on the inside that this is what God told me to do. You know it. Yeah. He's anointed you for the job. He's strengthened you for the job. For the job. I'm tripping. But anyways, you're anointed. It's your business. You're going to be successful. Just go find Jesus and wait on the Lord. And know that we're not going to take easy way out. We're not going to do no get quick rich, get rich quick schemes <laughs> and whatever else that would trip us up and cause us to end up in poverty. When you come out of poverty, stay out of poverty. Do what's right. Amen. Easy come, easy go. Trust in the Lord. God bless.